Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, I was uh, sick as shit. Uh, <laughs> just got done taking a bit of medicine. I uh, was cleaning out my ears before I started recording and noticed a big old spider on the doorframe above my bedroom. Uh, I'm not afraid of spiders, but it was a quite a bit bigger than most of the ones that should be in this part of the country, so uh, that was a thing I did not expect. I put it outside though, so it's all good. So, uh, when we left off, I was deciding which planet we were supposed to be heading to, and uh, I think I How exhausted I everything with... Oh, I didn't. I thought I exhausted everything with everyone. Yes, I haven't yet. I'd like to talk about what you said before, about giving in to your emotions. Yes, I did end that quite abruptly, didn't I? A little. Perhaps a master could have addressed my questions with the proper wisdom, but I never should have brought it up here. Not with you. Part of my purpose on this mission was to guide you in the way of the light, mm -hmm. to help you avoid the temptations of the dark side. But I fear I've failed in that task. I don't think I'm the proper Jedi to guide you. I am no master. You should have remained with the Council. Why do you say that? The fact of the matter is, I have never possessed much skill at controlling myself. With the bond that joins us, it seems I have even less. You have maintained the path of the light side, but it has been in spite of my influence, not because of it. No. It's increasingly obvious I am unable to guide you properly. You're doing your best, I'm sure. That's kind of you to say, but I think the evidence speaks for itself. I think... I think I may have made a very big mistake. I simply what? hope that you are not the one who pays the price, ultimately, for the fact that I can't help you enough. Maybe we could help each other. That's a kinder response than I deserve. And I can see there is wisdom in your words. You... you continue to be there for me, don't you? Even after I keep pushing you away, you're still around when I need you most. You're like no man I've known before. And you're nothing like what I expected you to be after... after the Council sent us on this mission together. We're made for each other, Bastila. You have to see that. I need time to think about all this. Things are... They're not going as I thought they would. We should continue on with our mission for now. If you say so. Alrighty. Well. I think I have unlocked the romance option here. Woo! <laughs> uh... My flirting style works every time. <laughs> okay, works two thirds of the time. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Now, the uh, planet we're supposed to be going to next, uh, ironically, corresponds with the way she said it um, way back when. The order of the planets that we were supposed to follow uh, was Tatooine, Kashyyyk, Manan, and Korriban. That said, I, uh, <laughs> I want to also get as many of the quests that are available, uh, done, but I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if, if this path will allow that, but we'll find out. Now, as it stands for right now, we're heading to Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk? Kashyyyk. The, pronunci <laughs> the pronunciation of the planet has never been standardized in any of the EU. Ever. Some sources pronounce it Kashyyyk, others Kashyyyk. Nah. Either way, on we go. Oh, another vision. Another dream. Kind of pop my back a little bit. There we go. FMV hitched a little bit there, but uh, some ancient, ancient tech on the forest floor. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, 
and down we land. Adjusting my headset. Getting a little itchy. You may have saw in the vlogs, my hair is getting a little long, so it's not interacting with the headset well. Uh, uh... Another vision. There we go. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, yep. leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. Yeah, most wouldn't, I don't think. Uh, it looked like the star map was on the fourth floor. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their mm. bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. Mm. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. True. Very true. Alright, let's head out and do that. I have a feeling I really have exhausted all the other options. But, uh... Should check with Zalbar. Hey, we're on your home planet, bud. Uh, do you know anything about it? I've been away from Kashyyyk a long time, but things look the same as I left them. Slavers still hold my people prisoner. I'm not sure what I can tell you, or even what I would want to. You're an outsider here, too. It angers me. You're an outsider now as well? What? Alright, uh... Maybe we'll talk later. Very well. Alrighty. Fair enough. I know I'm taking him with me. This, this is necessary, I think, for to have him with me. Uh, so, let's take Zalbar, and absolutely going to take our skilled person, because mission is fucking amazing at all skills, at all times. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Greetings to you. Uh, while I am pleased to welcome you to Planet G5623, I do not see your ship on my docking schedule. Planet what? 65 G5623. What? The Zerker Corporation will see to your needs, of course, but there will be a hundred credit docking fee in advance, I fear. I thought this was the planet Kashik. Can I get some information? That is what the dominant indigenous species calls this world, but maintaining this outpost grants Zerker Corporation naming rights in the trade guides. Uh, what? I'm sorry, I really must insist that docking fees be paid before I impart any further services. Upon collection of the correct fees, I will extend what services or resources the Zerker Corporation can offer. I'm sure you understand. Um... How about I don't need to pay that? Perhaps you don't need to pay the doctor. Any services you need will more than make up for it. I see you have a Wookiee with you. Can I assume you understand their language? For a fee, Circuit Corporation can provide a translator for you during your visit. Oh, well, I mean, I can, I'm can. i trained in the Force. I'll have no trouble. I don't have any experience with that. I just know that only the most adaptive people can understand the Wookiee with a Wookiee language. Well, <laughs> if I can barely understand my own language, I have no fucking hope. Now then, please follow me to our information center. I will answer any further questions there. Alrighty. And we have to level up Zalbar, because we haven't taken him out in forever. Okay. So, um... Uh, yeah, that'll work. Except, really, that's it? Huh. He is a little closer to the next level up, but, uh, if anything, I'm closer to mine. Alright, well. Just gonna go run around, see if there's anything I can grab. And... There we go. Interface visor. Well. Well, I guess you gotta open it. Alrighty. I was hoping that the first hit would actually open it, but it didn't. Not the way I was hoping for, anyway. Alright, time to run around. A 
photo Mido. Okay. Well, I should probably go and follow his ass. He's already walking far, far ahead. Come on. Greetings again to you, Kuma. It would seem the call of the hunt has brought us both to this troubled world. I have not been here long, but I can already see I will not be as welcome here as I had hoped. What are you doing here? Following me? Well, I'm sure you would prove an interesting hunt. I don't track sentient prey. Two-legged animals do a fine job of killing each other without me. You're not wrong. I have come here to seek even greater prey than what could be faced on Tatooine, but the climate here is politically cold, and I don't know if I will be allowed to hunt. Whose permission are you looking for? An astute question. Zerka Corporation seems in control here, but they don't care if I want to Shadowlands, so long as I have paid their docking fee. Instead, I hope to gain the trust of the native Wookiee population. I'm not here to just kill the biggest thing I can find. I want to understand how they are. What are you doing to gain their trust? Very little. I'm sure they have had enough of off-worlders like the Zerka claiming good intentions. I will simply try to stay out of their way. I have heard of an off-worlder that has gained respect by living in the Shadowlands for some time. Perhaps I will attempt the same. It could be just hunter tales, though. Well, I mean, maybe. What do you know? I know that I don't know enough. Even from this docking area, I can see this world is a true one. My desert-dimmed imagination didn't do it justice. It's just a shame to see Zerka Corporation here. They lack an appreciation for the wild nature of this world. I don't like having to deal with them. I don't blame you. I don't fucking want to deal with them either. Who would you prefer to deal with? The native leadership of the Wookiees, of course. This is their world, after all. I can't understand why they have allowed it to be misused. Perhaps they had no choice. Oh, that's Zalbar saying. There is always the option to fight, even if there is no option to win. Of course, that is easy for me to say, being an outsider. I would hope that they are not complicit in the enslaving of their world, but this is not my place to judge. I've only just arrived. Okay. Uh, I have to leave. Farewell. Perhaps we will meet again. A great hunt on this world would be glorious. Here's hoping you get it, bud. Uh. Oh. Uh, Kashik, my home. I should have prepared you for coming here, but I don't know if I've prepared myself. Prepared me? What do you mean? I didn't leave Kashik voluntarily. The mission must have told you how I was fleeing slavers. But there is more. I am an exile. The slavers in Kashik only took me after I was forced to leave my village home 20 years ago. Why were you forced to leave? My brother made deals with the slavers and allowed them to get a foothold. I found out and attacked him. The fight was stopped, but my father did not believe me when I told him about my brother's actions. I was made in exile, disowned by my home and people. I should not be here. They will not accept me back. Why didn't your father believe you? When I attacked my brother, I was so mad, I used my claws. You don't understand what that means to a woman. Our claws are tools, not weapons. To use them in battle is to become an animal. It is madness without honor. I am forever a mad claw in the eyes of my people. Nothing I say is to be trusted. They were right to cast me out. No, they weren't. You were just furious? That should be understandable? Why am I talking like this? No, okay. Uh, just... I don't agree. But have it your way. We'll deal with that if we have to. Let's go. I don't have much hope. Well, we're gonna have to give you some, but... Uh, these two seem interesting, and they're named, so there's that. Uh, Matt... Greetings to you. Something I can get for you? Kindly direct your inquiries to me. Matten is merely an indebted employee. His opinions don't amount to much. Wow. First off, fuck you, you jackass. Second so, off, okay. New spaces have come to Wild Kashik. 
please look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Uh -huh. Be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fat worm on a hut's backside. Oh. First off, hearts are all backside. Secondly, <laughs> I don't much like Fair the enough. comparison. No need to get personal. It's just business. Poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Um, do you always enslave your debtors? Enslave? I resent that. Do you, though? Simply fair business. This man's fellow's left without settling their debts, so he must make up the difference. I know, I know. It's standard trading rules. No, it's not. I just want to know where my crew went. I was only gone for two days. This isn't like them. Yes, very sad that they would abandon you. Especially while you were doing me a favor and helping repair one of my freighters. Something about this whole situation stinks worse than an overcrowded Ronto stable. What kind of friends would just abandon a crewmate? You think yeah. you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, madam. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. Uh-huh. Do your debtors have a habit of running off? Uh, it happens from time to time. Credits are scarce out here. And not everyone is as honest as Mr. Dacel here. Mm -hmm. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course they will. Until then, however, I can make use Why of this mechanic. Why do I sense a, rare to find an air of condescension in your statements? Aha. Uh -huh. Very rare to find your kind of skills out here. I am getting very more suspicious by the second. How much debt buys a man's life? Oh, it isn't about the amount. After all, I think it would be a little. Matter is worth much more than what is owed, especially on this remote planet. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> As I was saying, it's a matter of principle. I'm nothing if not honest in my dealings, and I demand the same. Uh -huh. He'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. I honor my deals. Let no one say otherwise. Aha. Uh -huh. Perhaps I could settle some of it? Thanks, but no thanks. No offense, but there's no point in exchanging debt to Eli with debt to you. Besides, he is a hard worker. I'd prefer to keep him. Hmm. I am getting heavy vibes of scummy schmuckery over here. But I have nothing to go on as of yet. So, go back to other questions. Of course. I'm here to serve. Right. Let me see what you carry. Of course. You're in a hurry. A little. Reinforced fiber armor. Hmm. It does have a high defense bonus. Inspired by craftsmen on worlds where metal is in short supply, this type of light armor consists of Jungju tree fibers bound with synthetics. I can't talk. At least when it involves that many fucking S sounds. Offering good flexible protection. Hmm. Jamohagra's battle armor. Immunity to critical hits. Plus one to strength. That is a high amount of defense. Hmm. Yamohagra was a Zabrak mercenary who feared for his life after a raid on a Sith Dreadnought. He spent a fortune on his personal armor, only to be killed while in the bath. <laughs> that is shitty. <laughs> Oh, but that's funny. Oh, that's funny. If it wasn't for the fact it would restrict some of my uh, Jedi powers, which, uh, well, force powers, technically, I can term it as that. If it wasn't for that fact, I'd be getting this right now. But... Uh... I don't know. Later. I'll find out later. Shield. Whoa. Oh. It just provides immunity to electrical. Alright. 
The shielding device worn around the waist absorbs and stores electrical energy directed at the uni at the user. Ah! Ha! Fucking screw everything in regards to my mouth. Which is then released slower, slowly over a period of time, dissipating harmlessly. The manner of release generates vibrations along the inside edge of the shield, giving it the less than complimentary name, the Tingler. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Sound sexual. Hmm, hmm. Cyber reaction system. Hmm. This system supplants the user's normal nervous system, enhancing it artificially. It allows the impulses to travel faster and farther along the system, improving reaction time while also improving fine motor control, increasing accuracy. Hmm. And here's Gizka Poison. Uh, don't want to kill him, but I just want to get rid of him. Hmm. I'll make some decisions on this armor and then I'll come back to it. For now, though, I think the guy went this way. Uh. Well, if I can get into him, it means they won't get mad. Ooh, 30 credits. I'll take that. Circus scientist. Welcome huh? to Adian. I trust you will find our facility pass inspection. Zerka Corporation is very efficient. You have nothing to be proud of, fool. I'm sorry, I don't understand Wookiee speak. Shiri Wook, I think it's called. What did the Wookiee say? You work on Kashik and you don't understand the language? Zerka Corporation calls the planet Adian, and no, I don't understand the language. The local I don't Wookie care what Zerka it, calls so we don't it. Need to. Wookiees are unable to speak basic, but for the last decade, the residents of all local villages have been trained to understand it. Why would a Wookiee leader do that? I understand he works very closely with Zerka Corporation. He wants his people to work well with us. It eases tensions. Uh -huh. And it makes my people more desirable as slaves. What did he say? I don't usually have a translator I can ask. <laughs> that third line. Well, that's probably true. Is not what he said. That knowing basic just makes his people better slaves. I just work here in the lab. I I don't have anything to do with the taking of slaves. Why don't you do anything to stop it? I'm just an employee. You'll have to take your concerns to Janos. He's the voice for Zerka Corporation on this outpost. How convenient. All the benefits with no guilt. I don't have to justify myself to you. I do good work here. If you're uh -huh. looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Oh, I'm looking for trouble with anyone who aligns themselves with flavors, buddy. What is your job here? I'm anyway? conducting experiments on various samples of indigenous plant life. There may be untapped pharmaceutical resources here. Of course, that will take some time, and the Wookiees are a more immediate source of income. Uh -huh. Aha! I must return to my work. You'll talk as long as I say, I understand. There's no call for that. I'm just a glorified lab technician. Please, the assignment is difficult enough. Take your concerns to Janos. He's the one that runs things here, not me. Whatever you say, bud. Janos, Janos, Janos. Oh, are you Janos? <laughs> Greetings again. How can Zerka Corporation serve you during your visit to ED? And how about you fucking call it Kashik, you son of a bitch? Tell me about the planet. You called it G5623 before. It's the numerical designation. The galactic basic name is Adian, chosen by corporate ballot among stockholders. Oh, why am I not fucking surprised? It would seem you are already acquainted with this world because of your choice of traveling companion. I've been away for a very long time. You let the beast speak for you? You allow it more liberties than most of our customers. What do you mean by that? He means that they are slavers. They take my people from their homes and sell them to the highest bidder. Your current Wookiee seems displeased with the situation, but I fail to see a concern. You seem to be a satisfied customer. He's not a slave yet, cunt. He's pledged a life debt to me. It's, it's gray area. 
Ah, a very difficult thing to stage. I commend you for it. So much easier than relying on restraining collars. Do not demean the life debt. Do not. I must warn you that you will be blamed for the actions of your Wookiee. Please, call him off. Why? I should let him kill the lot of you. But that's not what I'm going to say. Probably. Um... Hmm. Why do you... Why do the Wookiees tolerate you doing this? It is not me personally. I merely represent Zerka Corporation at this outpost. There are other directors at other stations, of course. Arrangements have been made with the Wookiee leadership. Harvesting is handled as delicately as possible, relatively speaking. You want to tell me about these agreements? I can tell you about the agreement. We supply arms in exchange for a supply of healthy Wookiees. We are kept profitable, and an agreement leader is kept in power. An agreeable leader is kept in power. It keeps the process from becoming a constant firefight. What's this leader's name? I believe his name is Chundar. I don't deal directly with them, thank goodness. Far too British. That was not a name I wanted to hear. It sounds as though your thrall has an opinion about our arrangement with this leader, but it doesn't matter. Chundar is unquestioned. What about it, Zalbar? What's the matter? This is not something I will talk about. Not yet. Please, is there anything else I have work to do? I have other questions to ask. I will answer if I can. Uh, I need supplies. What is available? For material goods, I would suggest you t speak to the general vendor near the docking area. He keeps a store well stocked. They can charge fair value for mundane goods and armor. If it is weapons you want, you will need to deal with a Zerko representative. That would be me. If you're here to rep uh, purchase local species, however, you must wait for a licensed Zerko Corporation trader to return from deliveries outside the system. I want to throttle what you call a neck, but... What weapons do you have? Zerka maintains a well-stocked armory that is open to all our valued customers. You may browse it at your leisure. Yeah, and I'll use it on you. Uh, nothing special. Uh, Ah, Feel free to inspect our operation here, but I would advise against going too far from the main landing area. The planet is still very much untamed, and we do not send out patrols for lost tourists. Uh, they're gonna send out patrols for your lost ass in about five seconds, bud. Ugh. Sorry, Zal. <laughs> Sorry, Zalbar. Mm. Blood is boiling. Not very happy with this. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. How about now? you call it Kashyyyk like it deserves, you ass? Numbers down, but I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. Yeah, that's probably the case. And for that, I applaud them. Okay. What do you know about the Wookiees? You're the Wookiee lover. Why don't you tell me about them? I'm sure you're real close friends. <laughs> Keep your pet on a leash, or you'll be wearing him. I have no love for these animals. I've seen guards ripped to shreds. Maybe I should just let him rip your arms off. I don't take kindly to threats. Don't test me, Spacer. We've more than enough firepower to bury you here. You haven't warned me. I'm a nice person. You like me. Ah, you ain't so bad. Was there anything else you needed? I'm going past you. I paid the landing fee. I won't stop you. But you leave this area at your own risk. We're here to protect the company, not you. Good to know. Don't fucking care. Bye.
Holy hell's bells. Alrighty. Well, we're getting right into the thick of it. Okay. Alright, well that worked a little. Alright. That went better than I expected. Could have gone far worse. Whoa. Oh, just a corpse. Unfortunate, unfortunate corpse. Poor unfortunate corpse. So sad, so true. Alright, uh, oh. Oh, boy. kill these people, aren't I? Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to. Can you sense it? The wind, the sound, the smells? I feel it all now that we are away from the spaceport. This walkway is new, probably built by the slavers, but I remember the trees. My village is not far from here. Is there anything I can help you with? It is kind of you to offer, but my problems are very personal. I'm not sure if I'm ready to deal with them. I must warn you of one thing. I don't know if I will be a help or hindrance to you here. My father was very powerful, a chieftain. Perhaps his feelings have mellowed, but if my brother had his ear all this time, it may be very unwelcome. We'll deal with that when the time comes. That is what I'm dreading. My shame was meant to be forgotten in some faraway world. I never thought I'd come back. I'm sorry. I've taken enough of your time. We should press on. Alrighty. Uh, let's reactivate this droid. Optimize things. Um, and set in patrol mode. Leave it alone. It might help me when I take on these fuckos. This isn't good. I can't afford this. You think I can? Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. One of those company. things? What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. Am I? What happened here? This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. I'm sorry. <laughs> put it down? We're not animals! Zalbar, let me handle this. But their disregard for the life of this Wookiee is too much! I have asked you to let me handle this. Honor my request. I will do so. For your sake, not theirs. Careful now. That growl sounded pretty threatening. Keep your slave on its leash or we'll have another accident. Just shut up, you trigger-happy idiot! Do your superiors approve of you killing Wookiees? Of course they don't. Why would you ask me that? You're doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. We'll find another easy enough. I won't allow you to enslave or kill another Wookiee. Is that a joke? Who do you think you are? Request a transfer. Move your patrol off-world. What are you trying to get away with here? You can't just walk up and start demanding things. Oh, I, I think can this and will. Maker needs an accident. In fact, I think this Wookiee attacked this fool and we arrived just a little too late to help. Uh, Captain, we have blasters. Don't Wookiees use those bowcaster things? Would you just shut up and shoot? Or I could just kill you straight dead, bud. Light side points gained. I get light side points for killing this fucker. Oh, oh. Oh, I... Or at least I get light side points for trying to be polite and not murdery. But, uh, it didn't work out that way. So, uh, they just died. Oops. Oh, hey. I got a resource ID. Oh! That droid got fucking wrecked. Oh. Well.
well then. Um, well, so much for uh, using that droid to help. <laughs> uh, hmm. What? <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's not good. I did not think they'd be strong enough to, uh, survive that. Hmm. That might be a problem. Huh. All right, well. There we go. Oh boy, they are doing a lot of damage here. Alright, there we go. And heal up time is now, because holy shit. Alrighty. Well, I think it's time to end the episode, because uh, the droid I was expecting to be a help uh, did not help at all. It uh, got destroyed pretty damn fast. Then again, so did the slavers who uh, tried to take this one. Uh, unfortunately, wasn't able to save them, but uh, at least I killed those motherfuckers. It's all good with me. Okay, um, that said, oh. Okay, cool. Now, uh, for now, since uh, there's nothing else I can really do here other than move forward, uh, I'm going to end the episode here for now. And uh, we'll see what's going on further down the way. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube and Raj Kamal on Patreon for supporting my Patreon and thus supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to fucking help the Wookiees on Kashik because damn they have a bad situation uh, going on right here it's not great and I'll be damned if I let it continue uh, and I'll have Zalbar probably with me the entire time because I'm sure he wants to enact some vengeance of his own for you